everyone this is Angie at Stampin with Amore welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video sorry for my squeaky chair it's been squeaking <laughs> lately and every time I edit my videos I'm like oh my gosh that squeaky chair is driving me crazy but anyway I haven't been able to fix it so I'm working on it I told my husband he needs to take a look at it so today I'm sharing these cute little treat boxes. It could be for a small gift. This one just says, hello, lovely. But I did it two ways because you'll have an option of what you want to do. I'm actually going to show the window box because you know me, I love the windows. I have a question too, by the way, before we get going. Um, tell me if you like when I come on first or just comment in the video you won't hurt my feelings at all but I've had a few people ask you know that they miss seeing my face and um, I'm trying to keep these shorter because I've had some people say that they're too long I'm trying to please everybody so just give me your honest opinion if you like when I come on in the beginning and introduce what I'm gonna do or if you just like it the way it is Honestly, it's not going to hurt my feelings either way. So I just want your honest opinion. I want to give you what you want. So just please comment. All right. So like I said, I am going to share the window one because you know how I love windows. And isn't it so adorable, though, with the window in it? And it would be so cute with really colorful candies in it. And it's not really big. It's so it is about two and three quarters by two and three quarters by one and one half. So it's one and a half tall. But this one you can do if you don't have window sheet or if you don't want to put a window because it is a little bit more involved. So um, you can just cut out the little square with the little flower and just add your little flower on top put your sentiment on and I usually don't I usually use the same color designer series paper but I wanted it to be bright and cheerful and so I took the color that I used on the flower on here and I did the same on here but on this one I used designer series paper and I popped up the flower which I really like better so this is the one I'm going to share I'm going this one is granny apple green and Melon Mambo, and this is Melon Mambo and Daffodil Delight. And then I did use some Pear Pizzazz for the green for the image there. Oh, look at I did. I just popped off my little cute little embellishment there. So today, what I'm going to do is I am going to use our new in colors because I love these in colors. <laughs> I've been using them like crazy. So for this, for the box part, you are going to need a piece that's six and a quarter by eight. And then this piece, I am just going to cut out one of the little squares. I'm going to show you the bundle I'm using because the square is from the bundle. And I'm going to use that. And it's just because I wanted a little pattern on the leaves, but you don't have to do that. Like I said, you can make this super simple by just cutting out the little square and then you need to mat this four pieces that are one and three eighths by two and one eighth and this is their evening evergreen and this is the soft succulent and then this one is the polished pink that i'm using for the flower this time and i'm using this side and then i'm going to use the little plaid side for that and then you need a piece and i think this is a half inch it's about a half inch by two inches but i may shorten it and this is for the sentiment I love the sentiment. By the way, if you're an itty bitty greetings person, like I love the itty bitty greetings so much, but I bought another one that's in our new catalog that is available now, and it's called Through It Together, and it's got so many really, the little bitty sentiments as I love because I love them for my treat boxes and bags. So I'm using the Hello Lovely, but oh my goodness, you can use so many in here there's one that says believe in yourself with much love i love you no matter what sending you this paper hug get well there's so many on here and you can even use the longer ones even for the inside of a card or whatever so it's a really good one believe me i was so upset when itty bitty greetings went away but i think this is going to be a good replacement 
All right, so the first thing we're going to do, oh, the main event, the main one is this all squared away. And this one is a bundle, so you save 10% with the bundle. And it's got the floral square dies on here, so it has four different flowers. You can make a whole set. Wouldn't it be cute to make a whole set? Put them all together and um, give them to someone as a gift. So it has the extra flowers that go on here. This one is for the like hydrangea. This one's for this. And then here's the one that we're using today is this one right here with the little flower. So isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. When I saw this, this is exactly what came to my mind. And even if you want to stamp a background, you can use these to stamp the background. But like I said, I'm going to show you the window. So we are going to not use those. And then you can even use one of these sentiments because they're cute as well. And if you did, if you even didn't want to get the stamp set, just get the dies because you can use them for these boxes or a lot of other things. So you do need window sheet, and this is two one eighth by two and one eighth. And so let's set these all aside here for a minute, and let's go ahead and do all our let's do our scoring first because then we can bring this up and do all our cutting and emboss that we need to do on this. All right, so we are going to score this first on the six. Let's do it on the eight inch side since that's what I already got here. We're going to do it at one half, two and three quarters, four and a quarter, and six and a half. And then on the six and a quarter inch side, you're going to do it at one half, at two, four and a quarter. And five and three quarters. And that is all our scoring. Now I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to cut first um, the, the areas that need to be cut out. So this is your half inch side. This is the part that's going to fold into your box. So we are cutting off all four of these corners here. This whole corner, there's four rectangles and then we're going to do the same with the other side. Just like that. Now I'm going to bring up the big shot and we're going to cut out all we need for this little project here. I need to scoot these all out of the way so I can do this. Oops. All right, so first thing you're going to do is cut out the top of your box. And this is going to work for your top and to create the hole that you're going to have for your window. So you are going to set that in the center there. Make sure it's even on all four sides. So there's equal amounts of space on all four sides. Then you're going to put this in and we are going to run it through. I'm only running it through till I can hear it click and then I'm running it back. This way I don't have to send the whole thing through. And so you're going to have your window there and then you're going to have your piece right here that's going to fit back into that. So I'm going to clean this off real quick and set that aside and we are going to run through this because I want to run this through again because I want the bottom leaves so I can layer the leaves on top so I'm just going to run that through and then I am going to run one of these through we'll have to run one more flower through but we're going to do that and then oops that one moved I need to get that back on there Okay, so we're using this, and I'm going to move that out of the way, and then this is one of our parts of our flower, and I need one more of those. And I think that's everything for this. There's my other flower there. 
All right, let's move this out of the way. And the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to take my little piece here. I am going to cut out the leaves part. And I am going to kind of form this like a leaf. I'm going to round it like it would look. And this, this one too. So I'm just rounding it. And then I'm just cutting it right at the flower there. And then we're going to cut this one. And there's our leaves right there. You can keep that if you want to keep it for another flower. But we are just going to use some wet glue. And I've had people asking me, this is the Barely Art Glue. And I have been really liking it. But I, like I said in my last video, I'll tell you in a month or so, or a couple months, how it's holding up on my boxes. Because that's the real test. So we're just laying this on here. So you see it, it's making it really cute. We're not going to put the flower on yet until we get to that point. So I'm going to just set these aside. We're going to bring in our box. I'm going to finish cutting this. So we are going to cut down these two. And we're going to cut these off. I'm going to cut into these. And also this top right here. Get those pieces out of the way. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. The top I know looks really flimsy right now, but you're going to really strengthen it with the window sheet. And by the way, be picky on your window sheet because it really makes a difference. I've used so many different ones. Some of them are so flimsy. They don't work very well. And then we're going to do the same on this top piece right here. All right, so let's clean this up here and get it out of the way. And I'm going to sharpen all these score marks. Do that before you put your window sheet in because it's a little hard to do once you got your window sheet in because I'm using wet glue and I, you need it to dry. We'll sharpen all these really good. I really love this color. I'm not really a big green person, but I love both of these. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of wet glue all the way around. I'm just going to put little dots like all the way around so it holds it on there. You don't have a whole lot of space. So just be careful there. This is this was holding it really well. So, and then grab your window sheet, and then go ahead and put that down. This is going to really really strengthen up your lid here. And you want to give this time to dry. It definitely needs time to dry. All right. So let's flip it over. And in fact, I need to get that glue off of there. And then if you ever get glue, here's a, a tip. If you ever get glue on your window sheet, just take a little alcohol swab or something and go around it. It takes the glue off perfectly. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus to put this together. So we're putting it on all four of these. And we are going to put this together. And I'll be real gentle till that dries. I would really wait a minute and let that give that a good amount of time to dry. And then we're going to put these in. And 
And I love the inside flaps. We're going to adjust the ones on here though. Because even though we need to shorten these, you're just going to shorten them like halfway. So just cut it down halfway. It's still going to hold your box lid up. But I'm just trimming them because I don't want to see that when I put my other piece on. So you got your lid closed. We're going to bring in our other piece right here. I'm going to put wet glue on here. This one you can put it on all your little leaves on the inside pieces and everything. Just make sure you get it well covered so it doesn't pop up. All right. Got some big dots there. I'm going to try to get those off. This one thing I like about this glue, it won't stick to your fingers and it doesn't stick to everything. <laughs> and then you're just going to lay this back down into that spot that you cut it out of. Just like that. So we're going to mat the sides. So I'm going to grab my little matting pieces here. And we're going to just mat these sides. I liked them a lot better matted. In fact, if you want to mat them the same color as the polished pink as the flower will be, it would be just as cute, but I want to show you with this because it goes so well. It is a little bit dark, but it looks really good with the soft succulent. I'm getting these names down. It's only been uh, not even a month, so I'm working at it. All right, so now we're ready to put our flower on. So I'm going to glue down. I have that in there perfectly. It started to move. Okay, we're going to glue this. Wait a minute. Yeah, I want this. So I'm going to glue this down. There is a way to glue this. This is a shorter end here. So this has to line up. To line up perfectly on there, you want to match those up. So it does have a way that it does line up on there. So now I'm going to take this one. And I always take my little spongy thing here. And I'm going to just use the back of my paper piercer. Pop that up. And I'm just going to put adhesive. Oh, I moved that. We're going to leave it like that. It's just a hair. So put it right in the middle. And then set offset these flowers. Put it down there. And then I am going to use my paper pier my <laughs> punch, <laughs> my paper piercer. I got that on there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in the center. So I'm going to put add more because this is pop going to pop up just a hair. Right, where's my take your pick tool? Boy, I need that right now. And you're going to put the flower right in the center. So let's stamp our sentiment. It's a really, really cute little sentiment. And we are going to stamp that. Wow, it looks like I got a piece of hair on there. I'm sure it's my dog, so I'm going to flip that over and do it again. We have a border collie, and she has long, long hair, and it gets everywhere. So I'm going to just trim this down, and I think I'm going to just trim here. I'm going to use some wet glue, and we are going to put it right on top here. Isn't that cute? It just looks like the rose really, or the flower really stands out in this one. but. I, I don't know. I don't know which way I like it better with the contrasting color on the side because look at this. Look how cheerful that... Well, these are the Brights collection too. So it is a more cheerful um, color, but you can do it whatever way, but this looks more elegant to me. I need to grab one of my little... I forgot to put my little um, embellishment on there. 
Oh, here we are. All right. So let's see. Let's put another of the polished pink on there. It'll brighten that up a little bit. We'll just put it right there. All right, aren't these pretty? They're so iridescent. I love these. These are the new ones. I'm, I'm already running low on them. I've been using them a lot. So there you go. There's all three of them. Like I said, you can make it super simple. No window. Just cut out the little image. Put your, um, I, I did mat this piece, which that piece, if you want to mat it, is two by two, or two and an eighth by two and an eighth. And then, um, yeah, just put it, do it like that. You can even pop up your another flower on top of that one and just make it fancy. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.